Hi there folks and welcome to the workshop. Uh, something a little different today. As you know the RAF Snaith Museum was donated a Rolls Royce Merlin engine from a Halifax bomber and this one is getting ready for display. So consider this part one of a series of my mission to uh, preserve what remains of the engine as best I can and make it into a display for the museum. All good fun. So let's uh, Let's go get introduced to the engine. We do currently have two Merlins at the workshop. Uh, but this one's going to another museum, another new museum. So it'd be a great display for them because uh, this one has a really good story and quite a dramatic end. But you'll have to check my channel out for uh, the video I made on this. Link in the description. So folks, say hello to our Merlin. Now this, I believe, is a Merlin 22. It was fitted to Hadley Page, Page Halifax HR 871 of the 405 Canadian Squadron, a Pathfinder Force. And on the 2nd of August 1943, the weather forecast was bad and while on a mission to Hamburg, it was struck by lightning putting both inner engines out of use. And that's what we've got here. This is actually one of the inner engines that was put out of use. And we also have the propeller hub and the reduction gear, which will fit back in place, folks. Obviously the engine is upside down at the moment and the first steps are to get rid of any contaminants and debris, seafloor and everything that uh, we don't really need. So there's some I prepared earlier. That was just out of one cylinder. As you can see here we, uh, we have the remains of the piston, piston ring gudgeon pin retaining uh, circlet and something weird I think that is actually the remains of the uh, of the pistons folks as you can see a lot of the engine has corroded away which it gives us a unique opportunity to uh, take a closer look as you can see all the pistons have gone all the exhaust valves have gone. And most of the cylinder heads have gone. Except this side which still does retain a little bit. But still what an amazing thing for spokes. And it should look great on display. What a golden gem, folks. So if you'd like to follow the progress on turning this uh, rather corroded Merlin engine into a display for the museum, please, uh, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, then you'll get notifications. Also, check out the links down below for uh, videos on the two Merlins and their story. 
Anyway, folks, on that bombshell, I'll catch you on the next one.